preservation and development of the homeland, of homelands. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, hold fast to Allah's robe altogether, do not split into factions. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. Homeland is considered one of the six major principles that the Sharia has fostered and protected with due means. One's homeland is a natural instinct that He Almighty Allah has created human with. Our Prophet وسلم, has embodied the meaning of patriotism in his statement when his people forced him to leave Mecca. He وسلم, has said, How good you are as a land, and how dear you are to my heart. How dear you are to my heart. Had your people not forced me out of you, I would have never came out and would have never resided in any other city but you. The homeland is one of the greatest blessings that the Almighty Allah has given us. And therefore we have to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for such blessing with our words and actions. However, patriotism is not just word to be said or slogan to be raised. Rather, it's a behavior and action which are carried out through certain duties that must be performed, including working to achieve the security and stability of the homeland. Security is a blessing from Allah, as we understand from the supplication of our Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, when he asked Allah, saying, Lord, make this town safe. Our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave the blessing of security precedence over the blessing of food and drink when he said, Whosoever begins a day feeling family security, good health, and processing provision for his day is as though he possessed the whole world. Among the most important factors for the preservation of the homeland are depending on the mean of strength, knowledge, and work together. As the poet said, once said, by science and money, people build their king kingship. No kingship was spelled in ignorance and reduction. Our religion. Our religion is a religion of work and excellence. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, it is he who has made the earth manageable for you. Travel its region, eat his provision, and to him you will be resurrected. Allah, glory be to him, also said, Say, Prophet, take action. Allah will see your actions. The Prophet وسلم, said, No food is better to a man than that which he earned through his, ma his work. The wood peace be upon him, the Prophet of Allah, ate only out of his earnings from his work. Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said, Allah loves someone who works. He performs it in a perfect manner. Preservation of a homeland requires upholding the general interest of the homeland away from all forms of individualism, selfishness, and passivity. The homeland need truthfulness and faithful giving, as well as solidarity and compassion among citizens. The Prophet وسلم, gave us a wonderful example of a compassion among the nation, saying, the believers in their mutual kindness, compassion, and sympathy are just like one body. When one of the lambs suffer, the whole body responds to, respond to it with wakefulness and fever. It is said, he who lives just for his own interest deserves not to be a human. All praise is due to Allah, 
the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his companions and followers. Among the means of preserving the homeland is having good loyalty, affiliation, and willingness to sacrifice for the sake of the homeland and defend and secure its border and better our enemies who want to attack it or undermine its security, safety, and capabilities, a poet said. A country who is youth by defending its life and passed away to let their people survive. Our religion is a religion of construction and development. True religiousness is the art of making life and making advancement. Our religion is the religion of civilization and progress. It is a religion that believes in science, encourages work, urge, urges us to have perfection, and forbids all forms of destruction. In addition, we affirm that preserving the homeland is a task that should be carried out by all its citizens. The homeland is for all of its people and it cannot advance except their hard work and striving. Each one in his field and civilization, soldiers and policemen in the preservation of the homeland security and safety, doctors in their hospitals, farmers in their field, workers in their factories, and the students throw their diligence in acquiring knowledge, etc. In general, the homeland is the responsibility to save and secure their homeland. In general, the homeland is the responsibility to all of us before the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All the citizens should cooperate to save and secure their homeland. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, the likeness of the man who observed the limit prescribed by Allah and that of the man who transgressed them is alike the people who get on board a ship. After casting lots, some of them are in lower deck and some of them are in the upper part. Those who are in, our, in lower part, when they acquire water, go to occupants of the upper deck and say to them, if we make a hole in the bottom of the ship, we shall not harm you. If they, the occupants of the upper place, leave them to carry out their design, they will all be drowned. But if they don't let them go ahead with their plans, all of them will remain safe. May Allah save our country, Egypt, and all other countries of the world. Thank you.